Dogs inherit their physical and their personality traits from their breed and their genetics in their family tree. A bit like us humans. They also pass along breed-specific genetic disorders from generation to generation. So knowing their DNA can be really important. Now, George, why is it that we should know our dog's DNA? So by knowing or understanding your dog's DNA, you get a better insight into the breed or breeds. Mm -hmm. And by understanding the breeds, we have a certain temperament, or what we like to say as humans, the personality behind that particular breed. It's important because if you've got an animal and you want to, to suit your lifestyle, understanding the temperament and mm. the char characteristics behind its temperament will assist you in how you manage that animal. When you look at the data, a lot of dogs will end up in pounds mm. or rescue because they don't suit your environment. You, you can't match them up to your lifestyle. So behind every breed is a particular characteristic, just like there is in Darcy here. <laughs> I... And we're able to sort of manage it, whether it needs, whether it's a couch potato, mm. whether it likes to hound and sleep a lot, whether it likes to retrieve a ball. They're all important things when it comes to <laughs> how you look after your particular animal. And they can also, like the genetics and the breed, also play a big role in the behaviour of our dog too, don't they? Correct. So around about 80% to 90% is genetic. So mm. that behaviour is what is in that breed. And the rest <laughs> is probably caused by environmental factors. And that's what we as trainers really tap into because we've got that little window of opportunity. Knowing what a dog's breed is, we can then tap into what their instinct might be. And if there's a problem behaviour, then we can use that knowledge and we can divert it in another way. Right. Correct. Now, I'm very excited because we get to find out Darcy's real breed today, but we'll go to that later. What I want to know is I did swab this around his mouth and pass it on to you. How, what happens then and how does it help us understand even what genetic disorders they might be predisposed to? So one of the other things we're able to do from its genetics and its breeds is determine what diseases are specific for that breed. Mm -hmm. So if you look at genetic testing in 1989, there was one single genetic disorder for dogs. Today, we can screen for close to 230 specific genetic disorders, which covers 300 breeds. So we're almost able to tailor a personalised medicine or life plan for Darcy, ah. just like we're doing humans. Mm, so it's really important to know. Now, on Darcy's uh, microchip, it says he's a Maltese cross toy poodle. Uh, I've doubted that along the way because he just seems to have such he does have a lot of terrier tendencies a fine example is what he does with the ball here <laughs> so um you're going to show us and we're going to find out so the curiosity factor you thought maybe maltese yeah poodle. look I, I i kind of wasn't sure about the maltese toy poodle yeah he's got the smarts of a toy poodle definitely um the way he runs i thought maybe a bit of italian greyhound um some of his mates on instagram that look like him are chihuahua mixes so I reckon there could be a bit of that in there. Um, and I was thinking Jack Russell has got to be in there as well, just because of what he does. Well, Lara, you're perfect at Guess the Breed. You've almost got it 100%. Oh. But let's have a look at the results. <laughs> I think you've done really well. But the, And I'd like to just say, by looking at him, it can be hard. Most people tend to uh, no. guess their breed by looking at I him. I mean, Maltese cross toy poodle, really. But <laughs> you've basically tried to put all that together through his behaviour. Yes. So let's look at what we got. Darcy is in fact a grandparent level Maltese. Oh. Grandparent level poodle. Ah, the smarts, yes, very highly intelligent. Great grandparent level of a whippet. Ah, so grey Italian oh. greyhound whippet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's chihuahua. the chihuahua. Yes, there's the chihuahua, the mighty chihuahua. And then he had some unknown, which was the terrier. Okay. So yes, no uh, Jack Russell. Yeah, no, maybe. more that terrier in there. Yes. So, you know, you've done quite well. I'll give you a nine oh, out of ten. There we go. Well, that just goes to show that Darcy's behaviour is true to his genetics. Great. So now this really does help me understand why he does what he does, does. why he runs so fast, why he destroys balls, um, and just why he's just so, so smart. So maybe at the, when you're at the park next time and someone asks you what breed is, you'll have to sit there and go, well, he's a Maltese, uh, poodle, poodle Maltese, Whippet. Maltese, Chihuahua. Uh, yeah, an unknown. Whippet, yeah, and a bit of unknown. What I want to know... <laughs> so what's this one? <laughs> this looks a bit like Darcy. <laughs> he's a little friendly little dog we have him. We stick by the window sometimes. <laughs> breed unknown. <laughs> Very cute. Well, thank you for that. That is really great to know. Look, for $120, that is money well spent. So if you'd like to order a DNA kit and find out more about your dog, visit the GoomiPets.com website or go into your pet stock store. Thanks, George. Thank you, Lara. Yay. How exciting, Dars. Yay. <laughs>